Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to the Team Robot channel. Today, we are doing another One Piece gameplay video. Uh, today, I am going to be playing the Iceberg deck. Uh, it's, I don't know, I just really liked the characters and the arc in the show, so that's why I made it. I don't think it's really necessarily like a super good deck, but it's just fun to make something different, right? Not really playing like meta or the strongest decks. Yeah, and so it's it, pretty cool. It definitely seems to be good early and mid game. It's just. It just has, falls off. Yeah. You feel like you just run out of gas. Exactly. You kind of struggle to keep up with most other decks if you don't just finish it right away. Uh, it's definitely cool, though. I, yeah, I like it. It's pretty fun. It's something different to play. Yeah, definitely aggressive. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, so what he does, I guess, really quick here is you can minus one Don, and then you rest this leader, and you get to play up to one Gowley Law Company type character card with a total cost of five or less from my hand. So you just pretty much get to play a five cost for free by just sacrificing a Don. But there's a stage card in this deck that allows you to get your Don back. So it's kind of like you just recycle it. Yeah. yeah it's, it's cool. Early on, you like he said, you get a lot of pressure, but it falls off. But if you can win early, it feels good. Yeah. But yeah, I'll pass it off to him. And yeah, we're just back at it with the Kaido. So with some purple v purple. But yeah, so we're just trying to ramp up and pretty much play some big stupid <laughs> Kaido pirate or Animal Kingdom pirates. Yeah, hopefully it works out and hopefully we can kind of ramp up before he gets going with all of his five drops. Fair. <laughs> I, uh, I guess I'll start. Mm. Yeah, sounds no, like a plan. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Flip over a Dawn. Oh, don't forget to do your life. Oh, thank you. Oh, no. I will start by tapping one and I will play Grainy Monster, <laughs> as Luffy mm -hmm. calls her. So she's like the searcher in the deck. It's all the top five cards, and then I get to add a Water 7 type card other than her to my hand. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four, five, and we are going to reveal the Kaku. And then, yeah, we'll just do his ability where we get to rest him, put this back in my deck, and we'll just play the Kaku for free. Mm -hmm. So what he does is he down minus one when he attacks and he gains banish during his attack. He's a five drop, 6,000. It's kind of nice. Very annoying. <laughs> and with that, I will pass her. Draw. Throw two down out. And I hate to say it, but that'll be it for us. All right, I will untap. I will get two down. I will draw for turn. Didn't really get what we wanted, sadly, so yeah, we will just beef them up. Why not? I will swing 8k at leader with Kaku. Yeah, that definitely goes through. No trigger. And I will pass return. Oh, the other thing is Iceberg can't attack himself. Yeah. So you'll never see me swing with him. He can't attack. I feel like that's the biggest... Or kind of like what we were talking about earlier, where... Because I feel like that's the biggest issue with the Iceberg deck, is since the leader can't attack, you're missing out. And like you were saying, it would help a lot more if they gave you rush options. So just, way, yeah, just to make up for it. Yeah. But I guess it makes sense. His ability is good. That is true. Man, I think we'll just tap three... We'll play Ulti, so she's a 2 drop 3000, but on play you can pay 1, which I did, and you can add a Don from your Don deck and rest it. And I think I'll just swing 5 at leader. 5 at leader, we'll just take it. Let's see here. How much? 1, 2, 3, 4, you have 5 Don? Yeah. Alright, no trigger. Yeah, that'll be my turn. Okay, just fix my pile here, make it look a little yeah, you're good. more straight. There we go. Alright, so we will reset the board. Boom, boom. Flip over. Do a draw for turn. Alright. Well, here's the card I was talking about. You tap three and you play the stage card here. The Gali Law Company. 
So you can rest this stage, and if my leader is Iceberg, add up to one Dawn card from your Dawn deck and rest it. So it's like, you use one to play a five drop for free, and then you pretty much just get it back with that. Yeah, which good. feels very nice. Um, yeah, we definitely like that. I think I'll just keep being aggressive where I can, though, and I will swing 7,000. 7,000? At leader. So we will do the zero, the gum gum jack Gatling, and we'll discard the king to bring him up to 8,000. Okay. And then we will do, we'll take the thing off Kaku here. Down minus one. Resting Iceberg, and we'll play the Poly. Don't have the trigger, unfortunately. You could tap two Don and like bounce KO something. KO, right? Yeah, four or less. I just want another body on the board so I can keep swinging. But I will do this to tap it and get back that Don because we want to stay ahead with the Don if we can. Yeah. Um, yeah, now we'll pass. Mm -hmm. We'll start by just paying three. We'll play Sasaki on play, doing his Don minus one to draw a card. That feels bad. I don't want to keep. I think we'll just go for leader. We'll swing five at leader. I will 2k counter with the lowest Hattie. Right, we'll try another 5 ed leader. 2k counter with the little Sadie. <laughs> we'll just follow it up. We'll play a little blocker. Alright. Yeah, that'll be true. Reset my board. Get two down. Draw. Alright. Swing 8,000 at leader. Mm -hmm. We'll allow it to go through. No trigger. We will swing 7,000 at leader. Seven. Yeah, it feels bad. We'll let it go through. No trigger. Then we will swing 5,000 at leader. With green. I will 2k counter that one. Alright. And I will pass. Alright. Grab that Don bag. Two more. Alright, yeah. We will throw two Don on Sasaki. We'll try to swing 6,000 at Kaku. We'll 2k counter with Lil Sadie. So yeah, we'll throw a Don on the Kaido. Try to swing 6,000 at Kaku. We'll 2k counter with Shiki. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting that, I won't lie. We'll just throw two on the ulti, and we'll try to swing five at leader. We will let that one go through, uh, no trigger. And then we'll use the last two, throw down another blocker. All right. And then I will fight this. We're lucky that we only have the Draw two power two. drops, but it's annoying that <laughs> we can't fucking get rid of the Kaku. I right, will tap four, and we will play a Black Marie. Mm -hmm. She's a four drop, five thousand blocker. And then I think we rest him to down minus one, and we will play another Kaku. 
tapping that to get her down back rested. And we'll just try to keep up pressure 8,000 at leader. I will block with the blocker. And then we will do another 8,000 at leader. Mr. Polly himself. We will pay one doing the Don minus one to blast breath to bring him to 9,000. All right, we will pass. cards in hand? Two. I think it's worth it. I'm gonna play X Drake doing his Don minus one to make you trash a card in your hand. No problem. We just kind of do the same thing. Throw two down on Sasaki, so we need 6,000 at Kaku. We will let Kaku die. There we go. And then we'll throw one down on the Kaido. Swing 6,000 at Polly. We will block with the Black Marie. And yeah, that'll be turn. Good draw for turn. Need my big Kaidos. All right. Start by swinging 6,000 at leader. The greeny, monster greeny, as Luffy would call her. We will 2k counter with Sasaki. We'll swing 8,000 at leader with Kaku. the one and we'll blast breath again to bring Kaido to 9,000. Oh, sweet, 8,000. <laughs> Throw the blocker underneath that one. Just won't let him die. And then we'll do the Don minus one, tapping him, and we will play our Mr. Rob Uchi. Uh -huh. And I will pass. I'm glad we used the blockers. <laughs> I think we just keep it up. Try to swing six thousand at Cocker. We'll tap two doing the counter. Now down minus one. And so I will give him minus 3,000, and I'll give your leader minus 3,000. Okay. So, yeah, we'll just throw a Don on the X-Drake, and we'll swing 6,000 at Kaku. We'll go through. And I think we'll throw three on the ulti. Swing 6,000 at Polly. Yeah, fuck it. I'll swing 2,000 at Granny Kokoro. <laughs> Jesus. See, this is, uh, this is why I don't like the deck. This runs out of steam and I can't do anything. 
Yeah, if you agree, it seems like card draw is definitely the most important. And we'll finally play my stage and rest it to grab my last on. And I will pass. Guess we'll just do this ability just to play the Khalifa for free. Yep. Tapping this, getting the Dawn back rested. Uh, I don't even know what to do. Oh, she's just gonna die in my turn. Guess I'll just swing 12,000 at you. <laughs> 12,000? Yeah, that goes through. No trigger. And I can do. Doesn't matter because already all rested. All right. Untap. We just go and do six thousand and rob Lucci. Throw two down onto Ulti. Do five K leader. Okay. And two down on the X Drake to do seven K to leader. And then yeah, fuck it. We'll just throw all four on the Kaido to do nine K. Oh, I'm an idiot. I should have done his minus seven and then swung. Oh, yeah. Because that probably would have been game. <laughs> would have been. Alright. Alright, learning. <laughs> and then, yeah, I passed. This one's a down. We'll play the tile stone for free. Maybe we'll just rest this to get this back. Maybe we'll tap one, two, three, four, five. And we will play the Magellan. So I'll play down minus one. Might as well. And you just have to put a down back in your deck, but it doesn't really matter. But we might as well do it for shits and gigs. Oof, it's really scary. And then just to get some draw power here, a little attack 5,000, uh, down minus one her ability, so I get to draw two cards and trash one, because that's when she attacks. Are you attacking leader? Sorry. Yeah, attacking leader. Um, 2k counter with ulti. Alright. Get through. Mm, down. Mm -hmm. All right. I think we'll just go ahead and try to swing nine at leader. Tap two down minus one, and we will do the judgment of hell again. Mm. We'll make, uh, I guess, Kaido obviously right now minus. And we'll do it to Mr. X Drake as well. And how much is it for? It's minus two of them get minus 3,000 power during the turn. Okay. So then it would still be 6,000. Well, I know, I know. Okay. I guess we'll just 2k counter on top of that. And yeah, I think we'll just throw it all on the Sasaki. So 
Between 10k a liter. Yeah, it's game. All right. Yeah, it runs out of steam too fast. Yeah. I mean, that was close though. I felt scared. You got me down to two life really fast. That's a problem. You always can, and then I just run out of steam. That is fair. Yeah, it seems like card draw is definitely the deck's number one problem. Or just like what you need. Yeah, for sure. 100%. But yeah, it's scary when you just keep dropping the five drop. But to be honest, actually, I feel like you didn't really have that great of a start. Because you got like the Kaku and uh, Polly out. But after that, I feel like there was a turn or two where you weren't playing anything. Yeah, I wasn't drawing anything. Yeah. Sadly. But yeah, good game though. Like I said before, this is just like the casual, like, just made it just because I like the characters. Don't really expect to win with the Iceberg deck. It maybe maybe later on get some more support or something. Yeah, yeah if they we'll release some more galley law support. Yeah, we'll see. Or I'm sure it'll be a different way to run this deck. Yeah, because honestly, I like I agree with what you were saying. They just really need rush or something to give your people rush. Yeah, just give a little extra oomph. Because like that's why the Rebecca deck works, even though she can't attack. That's true. All of her characters can attack right away. That's very true. But yeah. Well, I guess we'll see mm -hmm. in the future and see what holds for yeah. that deck. Yeah, guys, thank you as always so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that little bell, and have a good one. Deuces.